Let me gather my thoughts. Hold up, I'm a little bit too excited. No basic zone. What's good, Stitch Gang? Welcome or welcome back to another video with The Stitch Live. So in today's video, I will be reviewing the Billie Eilish perfume. It was recently added to Ulta's website, actually like two days ago, and the exact same day that it was added, I went ahead and ordered it because I missed it the first time that it dropped on Billie Eilish's website. So here we are. I'll be unboxing the perfume with you guys. I'll be spraying it, letting you guys know if it's a hit or a miss. If you need to pick it up, if you need to skip out on it. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. Before we dive into today's perfume, Review, make sure you guys go ahead and leave this video a big thumbs up down below make sure you also subscribe to my youtube channel down below if you haven't already and don't forget to also follow me on a gram follow me on instagram at the stitch life and without any further ado let's go ahead and get into miss elish's perfume so really quickly i just wanted to touch base on my look i did my entire eye look with the celestial odyssey palette from pat mcgrath and then on the lips i really want to talk about the lips on the lips, I'm wearing this Tower 28 lip gloss. This is the shade Almond. And I'm also wearing my Girly Touches Rose Me lip gloss. It's a good combo, okay? And I also went ahead and put on my Sephora Melasses lip liner in the number 13. So now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and dive into Miss Billie Eilish's perfume. So, as I mentioned in the intro, I saw that it launched on Ulta's website. I think it was two days ago. I remember being at work, and as soon as I got out of work, I ordered it because when the perfume initially launched, I saw the bottle and I was like, wow, that is a stellar bottle. I bet it smells really, really good. But I did miss it. The the first time that it came out because honestly I was not really keeping tabs on it so I missed it on the first launch literally ordered it two days ago and it came in the mail today so I wanted to sit down today and let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on the Billie Eilish perfume so, so the perfume came in this big old box packaging is beautiful as you guys could see it has her face on the box she looks radiant she looks glowy you also see a photo of the actual perfume bottle on the box as well so this is the Billie Eilish new fragrance this is an Eau de Parfum and it is a 3.4 ounce bottle. This perfume retails for $68 on Ulta's website and for 3.4 ounces I feel like $68 is a really good price for a fragrance. This is a celebrity fragrance and I know a lot of people think celebrity fragrances are hit or misses but just from the bottle I just wanted to pick it up. I wouldn't call myself a Billie Eilish fan i'm pretty sure i know some of her songs mostly from like tiktoks or something but none that i can point out and say that's miss ellish but i really wanted to try the perfume because again i thought the bottle was stunning so this is what the front of the box looks like but then you can slide it out and you get that this is beautiful i could have done without this honestly but i understand why her face needed to be on the packaging like obviously it's her perfume so this is what the box looks like once you slide it out i think again still looks and then on the top of the box the same signature is there along with her name you guys can see my paw prints are all over the box so you just have to be careful if you're trying to keep the box and keep it really pretty because it does pick up your fingerprints pretty easily um it also came in a plastic wrap but it did but i did go ahead and take the plastic wrap off because i really wanted to film an unboxing video for tiktok or for instagram reels so i went ahead and did that but i did not smell the fragrance so this is the bottle that comes inside the box that i just showed you guys 3.4 ounces of miss billy ellish's edp <sighs> let me just bring it in let me just bring it in this is a stunning a stunning bottle and this is what the side of the bottle looks like. You get the same signature and you have her name at the bottom as well. And then once you take the top off, ooh, not gonna lie, slightly struggled when taking the top off. You do have to tug at it. Maybe it's because it's new. Once you take the top off, this is what the bottle looks like. So you can kind of see a little bit of the liquid and I love that slant. I feel like it gives it a unique touch. So let me go ahead and put it back on. Before we smell the fragrance, I wanna just share some details with you about the fragrance. So the Billie Eilish EDP by Billie Eilish is a captivating amber gourmand featuring notes of sugared petals, creamy vanilla, and warm musks. Again, I loved the bottle. I loved how the bottle looked. But once I saw the notes, I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. I think I wanna smell it. I wanted to highlight that this contains clean ingredients. So this is a clean fragrance. We love to see it. Fragrance family is Amber Gourmand. The top notes include sugared petals, mandarin, and warm berries. Interesting. Sounds like it's florally and fruity at the top. Middle, creamy vanilla, soft spices, and cocoa. 
very warm gourmandy in the middle and then base sleek woods warm musks and tonka beans so the base to me sounds woody and gourmandy hmm interesting i'm even more interested to smell her i know y'all like girl open a bottle spray it so we can know how it smells so let's go ahead and do so without spraying anything i don't smell anything some fragrances i could smell it with before even spraying it so i'm interested let's see initials let me make it dry down. Initial spritz smells like something I own, but then I automatically got like the berries. But I get the sugared. What is that? Vanilla? Creamy vanilla. I get the creamy vanilla on the first spritz. But then I smell the warm berries like immediately after. I'm going to let it dry down a little bit. Let me gather my thoughts. Hold up. I'm a little bit too excited. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Hold up. Okay. Okay, let me review the notes. It's not as strong as I thought it would be, but I like it. So far, I like it. I gotta see how it wears. Okay, I get the creamy vanilla for sure. That's the thing that I think stands out the most on me. I also get the cocoa. The tonka bean is somewhere in there. I really love tonka bean and fragrances, so when I also saw that note, I was like, I might have to pick her up. A lot of the fragrances in my collection do have that tonka bean note. So when I saw Tonka Bean as one of the notes, I knew I had to pick her up. So I am picking up the Tonka Bean. And I think I'm also picking up the Sugared Petals. I'm not really getting the Sleek Woods, the Warm Musks, the Mandarins, or the Mandarin or the Warm Berries. But on initial spritz, I get the berries. Like I feel like you get the Mandarin and the berries on the initial spritz, like right when it comes out of the bottle. But when it lands and dries down on the skin, I don't get that. At least when mixed with my body chemistry, I don't get those notes. But I do like it. I would describe it as a, I describe it as a warm floral, but I don't really get the amber, I kind of get the amber gourmand, but it's not like a deep amber. It's a very subtle amber. Like you see how they say warm spices, it gives that vibe plus vanilla. Hmm. This is interesting. Hmm. Oh, hmm. So here are my thoughts, right? Here are my thoughts. I sprayed two spritz on my hand. I could smell it, but it's not powerful. It's not super loud. It's a very faint. I don't even want to say faint because you can smell it, but it's a very subtle fragrance right i really like how it smells on me i like the warm the sweet and the floral notes on my skin i don't know how long this will last on me because it's such a subtle fragrance but 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 i'm gonna wear it for a little bit to see how it lasts but i feel like this would be a great everyday fragrance i could also see this being a really nice fragrance to layer another fragrance with it smells really good on my skin i feel like you can also wear this in the night like this would be a nice nighttime date night fragrance again you could spice it up with something else I do really enjoy the scent I love the bottle the bottle is stunning it's a nice heavy bottle it doesn't feel cheaply made or anything like that you do kind of have to tug at it to open it but I'm fine I'm not complaining okay I do like the bottle I really really like the bottle actually the bottle is what really caught my attention and then the notes caught my attention immediately after so I will be keeping this I think she will sit really pretty on my vanity along with my other perfumes I'm gonna wear it just for a little bit longer just to see how long it lasts on my skin but I did spray it twice on my hand I still smell it but again very subtle this would be a great fragrance to layer with though not gonna lie $68 for 3.4 ounces I'm not mad at all really and truly I'm not complaining love the price point they don't have this in any other sizes though not that I've seen on at least on Ulta's website so I would love to see this in a smaller size so the girls can you know probably purchase a one ounce and decide if they like it and then upgrade to a 3.4 ounce but I'm not mad because I feel like $68 for this size is really good but overall I'm pleased with my purchase I really really love the bottle the bottle 
is really what, what brought us here today. If I'm being 100% honest, the bottle is what brought us here today. The only thing that I will say is that it is a more subtle feminine fragrance. If you're into earthy, like real earthy and fresh scents, this is not it. If you like the warm scents, you would really like this. She's not too warm, but she's warm enough, okay? You'd really like this. And if you like sweet scent, you would probably like this one as well. All I'm smelling on my skin right now is cocoa, vanilla, sugar, and a little, a little bit of that Tonka bean. Just a little bit of that Tonka bean. So let me know if you guys have picked up the Billie Eilish fragrance. I know that it launched a little while back, but they just launched it on Ulta's website. So if you want to pick it up, I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. I feel like a lot of you guys would really like this fragrance. I really like it, but just keep in mind that it's not a really strong scent. If you're an individual that gets headaches easily from fragrances, I don't think you should have any problem with this one. So definitely check it out. Check out the notes and see if this is something that you might like. But that's really it. I'll most likely have this on for the rest of the night. I have a few more things to do. So I'll go ahead and leave a little comment right here letting you guys know how long it lasted on my skin. Update. So the fragrance wore for four hours until I washed it off that night in the shower after recording the video. But I put it on today for work at 6 a.m. And here I am at 4 p.m. adding this clip in and I still smell it. So it's safe to say that she passed the wear test game. But yeah, that is really all for today's video. I just wanted to hop on here and share my thoughts and opinions on the Billie Eilish fragrance. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave your girl a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you guys also subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Let me know down below if you guys have picked up the Billie Eilish fragrance. Let me know if you guys are looking to pick up the Billie Eilish fragrance. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I love you guys and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys. I wouldn't call myself a... I'm recording a video put in. All right. Mm. You okay? You leave it work? You guys have picked up the Billy Ellis. <laughs> Why is that so hard to say? <laughs> it's given God and I'm so here for it. So here for it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today. Wow. Okay. Thank you. You, you go ahead. I'm filming. Don't worry. You go ahead.